Hi guys, I am back with a um, set of easel cards that I just completed and I wanted to share those with you. Um, today is kind of a crazy day. Um, <clears throat> I've got a lot of like house stuff to do, um, basically to get ready for, for Christmas. And uh, so let me start with card number one. It's this one here. And I actually used the same paper collection. It's a die cuts with a view paper pad that I used for my treat tubes the other day. Um, and I just like it. It's traditional, you know, traditional Christmas colors. So um, this card measures five and a half squared. And I used a pattern paper that has um, Christmas trees on it. And I thought that that was uh, fitting with the uh, sentiment. And it's a cut apart from the collection. And it is, um, I don't know if it will show up, but it is embossed. So it's really cute. And I added it on some black, or I'm sorry, green cardstock and then put it up on some foam squares in the center there on kind of an angle. Added some gold tinsel ribbon, uh, poinsettia, and then some Christmas tree buttons. And this poinsettia is centered on this red bow that I made with some ribbon from my stash. I just really like how the doily kind of just hangs off the edge there. Makes it so pretty. And that's how this one sits. That little Christmas tree button. So cute. So that's number one. Number two is this one here. And I got my measurements wrong on this one. So it's, I don't know what happened to be honest. But anyway, I like the color scheme on this one. It's just simple green and white and silver. And it just uh, looks really clean, but really cute. I like it. So this is a chipboard piece from my stash. I think it's from We Are Memory Keepers from a few years ago. And uh, girl grain ribbon, I made into a bow. Added some bling on either side. And then um, some snowflakes from the dollar store, the foam ones, and then these ones that I think you could make. I think they were ornaments is how I bought them. And then I have some white um, cardstock snowflakes on top that I punched out using this um, Martha Stewart punch. And then I added some bling on top of the snowflakes. It's a center. I just love the sparkle on those. And the inside is like this. Oops. And then I just used a iridescent pearl trim as the stopper. I thought that was cute. Okay. Card two. Next one is this one. And I just matted, double matted the cards or the pattern paper on cardstock, both green and red. And then I cut a doily in fourths and used two of them to cover these corners. Matted the sentiment which is also a cut apart and it is embossed and layered that double layered that on some cardstock red and green added some snowflakes some recollections flowers and then made a bow with some wired ribbon from my stash and that's the inside and that's how that one sits okay and then Last one is this one, and I think this one's my favorite. Um, I really wanted to use a doily on this card, and I like this pattern, so I decided to this time sandwich the doily between the cardstock and the card base, um, and then added my sentiment in the center. And again, it's another cut apart that is embossed, <clears throat> and added some poinsettias, some sequins to match, and this uh, glittered. Uh, what do you call it? Burlap ribbon. And this is actually some ribbon I got from the, a neighbor the other day. Uh, she gave us some neighbor gifts and um, that was on there. I just thought it was so pretty. Loved using that. And then I did use a border punch along the bottom and I used it on the inside base as well. And some red organza pleated trim as the stopper. I think that one just looks lovely. So he, here are my cards. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying this weekend and that you're getting some crafty time in um, before the, the holiday um, and that it's not too stressful. So um, thanks for watching, you guys. Have a great one. Bye-bye.